welcome back to Smith Coding and Design. So here I am standing in front of my Sile X7. So we'll just do a quick work walk around here. There's my tool holder with all of my tooling. And so now what I wanted to do with this video is go ahead and talk about Wi-Fi with the LNC controller. So I don't know if you can see that, it's a little dark there, but I do have a Wi-Fi dongle in the upper USB port. And that is a Wi-Fi dongle that is plug and play with a Raspberry Pi. Let's see if I can get an angle there and you can see, sorry about all the glare. <clears throat> so again, I believe the LNC controller is um, Linux based. So if you use that plug and play controller for the Raspberry Pi, you should be good. So all we need to do once we're here at the controller is just go ahead and press the maintenance key and then you will see where it says .NET. So if we press .NET, what it's going to do is bring up the connection if you were to use, if we come over here instead of the Wi-Fi dongle, we would open this up, you could actually use an ethernet cable. So this is where you would set up the IP address and everything for a wired connection. What we wanna do is press the key that says wireless. And now what you'll notice here on the right hand side, is all of the available Wi-Fi connections. So once you plug in your Wi-Fi controller, you should be able to see that. And again, you might have to come up here and set scan wireless to on. So once you have a list of all the available Wi-Fi connections, if you come up here to SSID, you would enter the name of the wireless connection you wanna to connect to. And what's important here is the security key. So that's your Wi-Fi password. So there is one caveat here and that is why I wanted to go ahead and make this video. So the LNC controller, if I come down here to the keys, you cannot enter lowercase letters. So again, this is not my real Wi-Fi password. This is just an example for obvious reasons. But again, you can only enter capital letters. So what I had to do was go inside to my router and set the Wi-Fi password to a password that used all capital letters. I repeat, all capital letters so if anyone else knows how to you know use lowercase letters let me know I tried the shift buttons etc I can't figure out how to use lowercase letters so again password all capital letters go inside your house set your Wi-Fi password to use all capital letters from there you can come down here and set up your a static IP address that never changes if you want what I usually do is come down to auto obtain IP address and turn that on. That seems to work for me. And what happens there is when the machine powers on, uh, it will auto obtain an IP address and then it will open up a little text box that shows you the IP address that it is currently using. So that's it for Wi-Fi connections. We'll now jump into, we'll now jump over to me on my PC and I'll show you how to use the Recon FTP Maker app that allows you to go ahead and send files wirelessly to your LNC controller. So again, uh, that is how we use Wi-Fi. All right, so here I am back at my computer. And so what I'm going to do now is show you guys the Recon FTP app. So this allows us to transfer files from our PC to our LNC controller. So let's go ahead and look at it. So what I'm going to do is just come down here and open the app. Again, you should res you should be able to grab the app and a zip file, unzip it, and you should have sort of everything here. So I'm going to go ahead and open the app. Again, it's not the greatest app in the world, but it does get the job done. So the first thing that you're going to want to make sure is that you have English selected as your language, else you're not going to be able to read anything. Then what I'm going to do is just come down here and press detect. And so after you press detect, uh, then you know, the IP address of the LNC controller on your network should show up. And then all you need to do is enter a default password, um, which is just five, six, seven, eight. And then you press the four colorful arrows here to the right, and that will actually connect to your LNC controller. So there you go. And then up here, you have a little drop down menu where you can select the various directories inside of your LNC controller. 
what we are interested in is number one, which is NC files. So these are all the posted programs that are currently on your LNC controller. And so what we can do from there is you'll notice that there is this folder over here that is just a bunch of zeros. So if we click in that, you'll notice there are three subdirectories that match the directories on the LNC controller. So for example, if we come here into NC files zero, all I do is put my posted programs here and then the recon app finds them. And from there, all you have to do is check the file that you want to transfer to your machine and then press the arrow that's pointing to the right or vice versa. You can come over here and you can click a file that's on the controller and transfer it to your PC by pressing the left arrow. You could all, you can check multiple files and send multiple files at once. Uh, you could also select multiple files and press the red X and delete them at once. Um, so that's it. Again, it's not really the best app, but it does get the job done. I haven't had any issues transferring files from my computer to my machine or vice versa. So I hope that helps everyone and I will catch you guys in the next video.